Today, another former Minneapolis police officer was sentenced for his role in George Floyd's death. Thomas Lane was in federal court today in St. Paul, where he was convicted of violating George Floyd's civil rights. Pauline Lee was inside the courthouse today and joins us now with more on the judge's decision. Pauline. Yeah, Shayla, Judge Paul Magnuson sentenced Thomas Lane to two and a half years behind bars, and that's followed by two years of supervised release. Uh, today's sentencing lasted just under an hour, in which Thomas Lane showed no emotion, really, and he chose not to address the court. Floyd's brother, Felonius, and his nephew, Brandon, however, did address the court, asking where is the humanity, as they called for the maximum sentence. Floyd's girlfriend, Courtney Ross, also addressing the court, and at one point addressing Lane directly, saying she didn't think he was a bad person, and still hoped that some good could come from him after he served his time. The sentence was less than half of what the prosecution had asked for, which was five to six years. Now, the judge said he made his decision in part because of the 145 letters that he received in support of Lane. Now, just moments ago, we heard from the Floyd family as they express their frustration about Lane not getting the maximum sentence. You've seen on the video that he did not try to reposition my brother. He did not try to minister CPR to my brother. They basically, all of them together, just stood there and gave my brother no option but to die. Lane is expected to surrender on October 4th. The judge has recommended that he serve out his sentence at a federal prison camp up in Duluth. Shayla. Our Pauline Lee reporting. Thank you so much, Pauline. Two other officers involved in Floyd's death, J. Alexander King and Tu Tao, were also found guilty of violating Floyd's civil rights. They've not yet been sentenced in that case, but both are scheduled to stand trial in October on state charges of aiding and abetting both murder and manslaughter. Derek Chauvin, who held his knee on George Floyd's neck, was found guilty of murder in state court. He also pled guilty to violating Floyd's civil rights in federal court. He's now serving more than 20 years for each of those charges. Our coverage of today's sentencing will continue on our news at 5 o'clock and our streaming service, CBS News Minnesota.